This is Jim Wilder of the Holland Beach Blading Academy. We're going to take a look at, or really, um, promising shortstop named Wildy Rodriguez. He is a freshman who's 14 years old and a 10 school um, in the Bronx, Cardinal Hayes, I believe. So we're trying to get Wally to use his legs a little bit more and also not wrap the bat around his head. So we're going to see what he's doing well and what he's doing wrong. All right. So right now, Wally has no rhythm. As you can see, he's just going to be, he's just right to the point and, and right, there's no rhythm or anything. He's just going to hit. So, as you see, he goes back, and there's no shift. It's just like he's just hunched and ready to hit. So here, let's back, go back a little. Now he's trying to get some separation here. Head stays pretty good, but as you can see, the back is kind of not in cahoots with the front side which creates what we call a back C. So watch him go. Now the ball's right here. Let's see if we get some plane. And you see the whole back C. Ball's up in the air. And we don't want any of this at all. So let's try at the point of contact. Now this point of contact is good. Heads down. And this is actually not bad. But watch as he finishes. Wow, how he just goes, see right back. So he goes from a position of up, going to the ball, gets to the ball, comes through, falls off, and he just comes straight up. Bat's not in a, in a really good hitting position. The finish, the head work is crazy. Front side is not supported. And the back side, back foot is good. So he's, he's got some aggressiveness coming forward, but everything else is just not good. And as you see, and he finishes around his head like he's a golfing. So we're going to get a little bit closer. And we're going to look how he gets his knee up. Down. And let's just go right here, right about here. And watch how his hands are going to become like a chicken. See right here? And it just, it just goes like a... He's like a... Right here. As you see, this hand, his, his elbow is up and it's far on that side. Which means he's not really in the hitting zone. He's cleared his hips, but he's cleared his hips by taking his whole hands on the left side, which we never want. And you're going to see he's going to finish up and out of balance. And he's going to finish the bat around his shoulders. So the things that we have to fix with him just has to really continue to be an emphasis on his backside and right here and you know he you know the separation is good here is actually good but he just ruins it by just going all the way backwards with his backside never and and just finishing up there and you know some people would call it a launch it's not something we teach at the Holland Baseball Heading Academy whatsoever. So this is a swing that's going to 
have to be fixed since the swing that's um, going to have to uh, do a lot of adjusting with this bottom side hip work and getting the back through the zone a little bit um, more squarely as opposed to folding and coming back on the baseball and with his backside just being out of say out of batch straps down here it should be the most square up here see and he's got his hands all the way up here and this is a soft toss so with all that movement that he does it's making something so soft look so difficult this should not look difficult on soft toss but because he's got so much movement, look, watch the movement. First, he gets his hands down. I mean, first he gets his hands off his shoulder. Then he gets his hands back. Then he finally drops the front foot. And then he's, he's lurching a little bit. Then he's coming forward. He's coming to the baseball. And, and you see right here. And that's how you want to know it's a launch because it's not on plane. Right here. His back's down here. His hands up here. You know, his hands is near his head, and actually near his ears, which is not a good sign whatsoever. And you can see everything's up and just not good. Now, the thing in the batting cage, it looks phenomenal when he hits the baseball. He looks like he can just rake, and he can rake, but for him to go forward and to be successful going forward, it's going to have to be a thing where he is cutting down on so much movement and really being a little bit more square to the baseball. As you can see, the balance is off right there. But he's got a lot of talent, and I'm looking forward to um, seeing if we can get the best out of Wally Rodriguez.